This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCR Wireless News. I'm here at the SCTE Cable Tech Show in Atlanta, Georgia, 2018, with Don Clark of Cable Labs, who is the Principal Architect of Network Technologies. How are you? Very well, Kelly. How are you? Good, good. All right, well, why don't you tell us a little bit? Uh, You sort of specialize in in virtualization, and uh, so tell us a little bit about what you do at Cable Labs. Well, I was hired at Cable Labs um, from BT in 2014 to help uh, Cable Labs drive the strategy for cable operators in NFV and SDN. So my job there is very much helping the cable industry to um, absorb and accommodate NFV and successfully deploy it. Okay. So what are you guys working on right now? Well, uh, several things. Uh, my, my primary role, actually, in for the last couple of years or so, has been driving the international standards around NFV. So I'm one of the co-founders of the Etsy uh, NFV Industry Specification Group, which we pulled together in 2012 and 13. And there I head up the Network Operator Council, which ironically is about 37 global carriers, including some cable operators, but very much a telco-dominated um, uh, group there. Um, SCNFV is developing the foundation standards for NFE. These are the things which, which enable the industry to have interoperable and open um, procurement for NFE solutions. So primary role um, has been to drive international standards. More latterly, um, I'm heading up a group of cable operator um, to, to operators and cable labs people to drive the strategy within cable labs itself. Okay. And so tell us a little bit about that working group within Cable Labs and, and what you guys are focused on um, in uh, probably maybe in the short term. Yeah, well, it's, it's quite exciting, really, because the, you know, the cable industry is very much uh, um, embracing now the idea of NFV and how it might uh, allow the cable industry to be competitive going forward and produce new uh, possibilities for consumers. So we're looking at the, primarily the best practices for NFV. So recognizing that NFV has been around now in the wild for, for several years, how does the cable industry learn from what's going on in the broader industry, those who have been deployment for, you know, for some years already, particularly in the mobile space, but also how do we, um, bearing in mind that the focus for cable is very much in the broadband access space, mm-hmm. so we're calling this the Access Network uh, Virtualization Working Group, with an eye on the future core, because bear in mind the converged core, uh, which will support 5G as well as broadband, is important too. So primarily best practices, we've got some pretty aggressive timescales, uh, looking at develop, delivering a technical report for the cable industry probably early in part of the new year. And my job is to coordinate all those discussions and drive, uh, and drive them towards a good, uh, successful conclusion. So tell us a little bit about, you know, here with RCR, normally we think about NFV in a mobile network operator context. Talk a, tell us a little bit about what virtualization can mean for the cable industry, um, you know, which I think has a, a huge diversity of, uh, you know, sizes of operators, um, you know, and is also a, a different global telecommunications industry. Well, the thing about the global carriers, you know, telcos, as well as some large MSOs, they do have everything they need to develop a strategy, okay? But also, you have to bear in mind that those strategies need to be aligned with the broader industry. So the original collaboration that I led uh, amongst the telcos was to recognize that even one large carrier, whether it be an MSO or or a telco, doesn't have the scale um, that's necessary for the vendors to to, to create economical solutions and offer Mm. those. So bearing in mind that the cable industry is much more fragmented in some ways, when I mean by fragmented, you could also call that diverse, right? Um, cable Labs, for example, is a consortium of 60 um, cable operators worldwide. They vary from very large operators with tens of millions of customers to very small operators with maybe a few thousand. And the question then is, how does a small operator with a few thousand or even just a million or so customers um, know what to do with this very radical new work, new approach to networking. Yeah. So now you're not buying um, you know, a Doxis uh, head end uh, from you know based on a hardware device that's pretty much the same whether you deploy it in the Midwest or in 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 Denver. You're now looking at integrating software components onto a hardware platform, and that's a much more difficult. Um, prospect for certainly for the smaller operators. So that's where cable ads value truly starts to shine, because what we can then do is with you know taking the the knowledge that there is in the industry, can distilling it into a set of best practices, guiding the specification work for the industry, and that helps the vendors get a focused target for solutions that they can then offer not just to big term uh, MSOs but also to smaller ones. So that's really where the working group I think will add very very high value in, in a very short period of time. Okay. Great, well Don thank you so much for your time, we appreciate it. You're welcome Kelly.